Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial we'll be talking about some of the most common fraudulent PayPal tricks that scammers are using recently to benefit through financial gain. If you see an email or a text message that looks a little fishy, chances are it is. While PayPal every now and again will send out emails or text messages, they will never ask for your personal information to be sent through these channels. If personal information is asked for directly via email or text message, this should be your number one warning sign that this form of communication is not being sent by the true e-commerce giants. Now you might be wondering how PayPal users get caught up in these scams, but the truth is these days the frauds are becoming clever in the way in which they try to financially gain from merchants. Even so, that the main scam we will discuss in this video, they do not wish to gain a monetary value but wish to gain a product or service without making a payment. So before we go ahead and discuss that current PayPal pending for shipment tracking scam that is circulating the net, we've collected a number of other common PayPal related tricks scammers have up their sleeves. Number one, a shipping address that cannot be found easily online. If you are a merchant prior to shipping out an item to a buyer, double check online to ensure the address exists. One of the more complex PayPal scams involves a buyer, or scammer shall we say, purchasing an item from the merchant's website and entering in a fake address. The merchant unknowingly ships out the item to the address stated. The postal service then makes it known to the merchant that the shipping address does not really exist. Meanwhile, the scammer or buyer contacts the merchant with the correct delivery address. This time the item is delivered, although the scammer then contacts PayPal saying they never receive their goods or services. Now because PayPal's terms only protect sellers from shipments to the address on file, the merchant now loses not only the item they have shipped but also the payment. Number one rule of thumb as a seller is cross-check address prior to shipping out goods. Number two, complete pending payment. This is one of the more common PayPal scams and involves the scammer sending an email to the merchant's address explaining that funds will not be cleared until one or more of the steps have been completed. In the email, there is generally a link that the merchant is instructed to click to clear funds in their account. The link generally leads to a fake PayPal account that asks for a user's login details. Once the merchant enters their login details, they are saved by the scammer and then allow them to access the PayPal merchant account. If you are a merchant, never click any links to supposedly clear funds. PayPal funds will only ever clear in your account once PayPal protocol has been completed. Prior to entering your PayPal login details, always scan the website URL to ensure it is the original PayPal website. Number three, impersonating PayPal email confirmation. Another way that you may be tricked is by an email from a fraudulent person who is impersonating PayPal. For some merchants, they never actually consistently check their account and rely on the email confirmation that a payment has been sent. While this is not the best way to confirm of a payment, it generally works fine until you have a scammer on your hands. The scammer will create an identical email to that of PayPal's and you will more than likely not know the difference. There may be some red flags, although if you are receiving sales every few hours, one or two of these misleading emails may slip through. The scammer may then complain a few days later that their item has not been sent and send the payment confirmation fake PayPal email to you prompting you to send out their item. Rule of thumb. Number three is always cross-check email confirmations with PayPal account activity. Simply log into your account directly and ensure that email and payment actually exists. Number four, PayPal pending for shipment tracking. Now we reach our fourth and final PayPal scam, the one that is our focus in this video tutorial. This scam is fairly new but so complex that many, even those who have been running businesses for a while, have fallen for. Hopefully by explaining this one in detail below, it'll save you from being the next victim of this scam. Fake emails are often used by fraudulence in an attempt to in some form financially gain. An email from the buyer or scammer in this case is sent to the merchant stating that the funds they have sent will not be cleared until the seller provides a shipment tracking number. Because the purchaser has sweet talked the merchant and have agreed to send a payment when the email notification comes through stating that the payment has been sent, although tracking information is needed, many red flags are overlooked by the merchant, especially those merchants who have not been targeted by scammers previously. The scammer holds hope that the merchant will fast track their shipping and supply the tracking number 
in hopes of a payment clearing sooner. Many times the email will contain a link to again a fake website where the tracking number can be entered. In more complex frauds, a phishing scam that asks the user to even log in allows the scammer to gain login details as well. While more times than not, many fraudsters complete this scam to gain a product free, some will want to go that one step further and gain login details as well. Once the item is shipped, it is too late and it is not until days later that the merchant may realise that they never received the funds in their account. Once the item has been shipped, you may even still be thinking that you will have to wait a couple of days until the item is delivered for that money to show up in your PayPal account and clear, but if the buyer had ever sent the money, it would be in your activity log. A pending payment will always be displayed whether or not it has cleared or not. Any money that has been forwarded to your PayPal account will be displayed under the activity log. Sometimes tracking information will be required, but that will be from within your PayPal account. Now the reason that this scam is working so well is that PayPal does indeed sometimes ask for tra tracking numbers internally in the merchant's PayPal account. Once the merchant provides the tracking number, the payment may be cleared sooner or cleared once the third party service marks the item as delivered. It is this internal feature of PayPal that fraudulent groups are attempting to mimic. The scammers are more intelligent than we would like to think and prior to offering to send you a payment directly, they will sweet talk you and build up your trust. If they are not going through the normal channel of payment, that is one of the first warning signs. If the purchaser wants to send you money to your PayPal directly, kindly send them the URL of your shop page. If you are one of the lucky ones and realise that the scam is taking place prior to shipping out the item, ensure you gain their email address to pass on to PayPal to investigate further. Now that you are aware of a couple of the more prominent PayPal scams in 2019 and that we are sure will still exist in years to come, we've compiled a few pointers that will help you avoid being caught up in the fraud's crossfire. Always look for red flags such as errors in the email and addresses. Ensure shipping and billing address match or are both locatable for expensive items, especially those with high resale value. Insist on signature on delivery. This ensures that a customer cannot wrongly accuse you of not sending out an item. Take action against customers who have shown fraudulent behaviour previously. Ensure the money is actually in your PayPal account. Only ever pay by the friends and family channel to those that you actually know. While other payment methods incur a fee, that fee may actually save you a lot of money in the long run when you send a sum to a fraudulent merchant account. Always double check the address of the from email. This can be completed by clicking reply. Scammers will often attempt to hide their email address. While it is important to avoid being caught up in a fraudulent sale, it is also important to report any red flag behaviour to PayPal. Reporting even an email address that has sent scam style PayPal emails to you as a merchant can help other businesses in the future avoid the same ordeal with said scammer. Thank you for listening to this tutorial and we hope our merchants never come across any fraudulent behaviour as such.